Hello, friend, and hello, student. My name is Ashok Sijala. In this session, we learn the function template in C++. So that is known as generic programming in C++. So first, I share my laptop screen and fix the position here so you can watch better way my video lecture. And here, Turbo C++, I double click and take some process. And now, yes, is open I'll draft file menu and take it to the file. And here, our goal, write a program to print one dimensional array. Uh, you can say that ascending. Ascending or sending, so ascending or descending. Yes, sir. So that is a ascending order and descending order using function template. So here we can use the you have to know very well in data structure there are seven techniques you have to run so we can use first basic selection short technique so first uh, ascending or descending i think you have to know very well so here that is like not b you see that now writes so first i include the io string so, so input output stream dot h and that we can say that uh, on your console input output and now we can take as template directly here i can use in previous two video lecture is maximum value have to find integer character and float and we can take as <coughs> swapping that the second function template i can use and that is also i take as a two integer two character and two float and now we can ascending or descending. So based on that condition, we can take as ascending or descending. So here type of T and that is we can give the our function name. So selection, selection short. You can also use bubble short, insertion, radix, uh, merge, quick short, heap short, so many shorting and uh, searching techniques. So here we can choose selection, selection short. So <clears throat> you can give any name, but uh, we can select or selection. Yes, there is no problem. And now first uh, that we can pass directly. I write the definition. So that is a we can take as pointer, and then uh, that is a size of integer. So that is a array index size is must be integer. There is no uh, any like float uh, or any other uh, character array that is index that size is must be and that the index is also integer. And that is a type of that is template type. And now we can start to our logic. So means that is our selection sort. So we can take as two for look here to know. So that is first we can find i that is zero then i less than or we can say that or um, yes n and minus one last is not required to iteration and then second for loop that is inner for loop and we can assign the j yes that is also zero and j less than Yes, uh, here j less than or not equal to n and j plus plus and now we can provide the if condition but that if condition we can also take as a swap function as template type so class that function template type so here we can say that our array so that is uh, p is uh, that condition so p of i is less than uh, p of j yes so we can call as the swap our function and that is only 
one statement so we cannot uh, require to hear so scrap i can call and pass the two arguments so that is a p of a p of i and then p of uh, j so two argument we have to pass as a requirement so that is a also template type yes and here you can see the that is i and j yes uh, that is compare so but uh, here you can j initialize i plus one yes that is zero otherwise all that same variable is compared to itself so we can compare to next element so all that is selection so zero element compared to the rest of all element and first iteration outer loop is round complete that you have to know that is first zero element is a short test small element is set and now we can take as template again and that is can say that class and that t and we can take as return data type is void and swap so that we can take as t yes and that is two argument we have to take and that is a, a reference data type yes here we can use as a reference data type so we can give the any name so yes here first we can take as a reference uh, data type and that we can take as t and like m person i give any name so like x and then again class of t m person y and that you have to know very well here we can define as a three uh, statement so that is a type of t and temp variable and temp we can assign the x and x assigned to y and y assigned to temp so that any data type you can pass class the t type and now that is our void main is start so at the last we can take as main and we can declare as first x and the pointer and then uh, p is already there so here we take as asterisk y Yes, and then clear the screen. And X, I can dynamic memory allocation. So first we can scan the size of that array. So yes, here enter 1D array size. So that is a integer array, yes, first. So here we can take as integer. And also here I take as I and J. Yes, uh, only I, yes, here one day array is there. So now I give the message. So here we can say that <coughs> enter one day array elements. Yes, and then can take S and L and take one for loop. So yes, I equal to zero, I less than N and I plus plus. So we can first scan and then call our uh, the member so x of that is i also print as a index and then double quotes and then i can scan ce x of i yes. and now we can pass that uh, so first i take only integer f then first then we can use as a plot uh, one drf and now we can pass as our template function and then selection so i can call that uh, etf so that is a template type of function and we can pass uh, just only x and then n that is a size and then that is a shorting so here we can give message after uh, guess that shorting one d array elements are that type of message and provide the end l and taking the for loop so i copy that for loop and pass to here again so first we can only see as integer array and then we can take as plot array so any data type you have to take but here we can give example only two so that after and 
here we can also provide the stash and or and l so yes and l i provide already yes and remove that brass so yes here we can say that selection so it is a template type of function and we can pass two argument and is integer here is also and but you can give also different name so size that type of take and i save that file so here function template and that is third demo i can take as a function demo template so yes maximum we have to take as eight so i remove that underscore because that uh, nine character so now is uh, four and just that third technique or third use yes what the one that is yes i save as a c language file but that is a c plus plus so yes i again function template c and dot cpp yes not c language so that is a yes so what and yes here we cannot declare as a uh yes uh, okay so here also enter size and we can scan as n then and then that is complete so now there is no any error look so all are well so i can run so i can give like five size of array and then we can scan like i randomly give the element so it is a selection short technique mm, yes and then Seven, yes, not. So look, that is a yes. Uh, that is descending order. Yes. Uh, so that is condition I can give. That is only you can depend. Yes, here I provide as a our condition is less than. So yes, here require is a greater than. So now look, I just change the condition, and again compile and run, and I provide. So now that is ascending order. So yes, uh, phi is not there. So look, that is very simple. So look, and now yes, one is remaining. So that is a after that print our one D array, and that is new must be used as a delete operator. So yes, that X variable yes, so that is a must be. Otherwise, compiler that is not deallocation that memory. So now yes, that perfectly. So first attempt we can take as integer. Now I give only three. size and you as randomly hey two digit i can give there is no problem but uh, okay so now perfectly 39 9 and 92 i can give two digit number and now i take as fourth data type so same process i first open then we can okay now yes that perfectly and now we can take as float so yes same process we can after that is here that print but uh, before here enter one d array and we can that add is a integer yes so here user enter <coughs> that is uh, integer array so yes and now i can copy that part all here all that part here yes. first i can copy and paste so how here we can say that that enter one d array size that is same but here we can take as y variable yes and that is not integer but that is float data type so that size is a integer yes that no problem and here we can take as a float so that is float and just yes, that scanning process here you can change that is only y x to y and then again i call that so it is a one convert that template and is the same yes i can use same and now after shorting so i copy uh, yes first i copy only that part and you can do it both one by one so after shorting one d array yes here we can also specify integer array and here we can also specify as a float array and that is same process here i can do y and here y yes and that also we can delete yes 
same process so i can tell it also that is uh, x and y directly yes, that is i think no any error let us check so yes there is no any error so that both are perfectly so now i can save and compile so two time i can call that same function so let us check first uh, that uh, i give five size and that is enter integer one dear element so i give as randomly so you can ascending or descending depend upon your if condition so yes here enter that is we can also specify that uh, that is plot array and that is character so yes here we can give the five size same and now that plot one dear element so 4.4 then points five yes uh, eight point nine yes and again three point five and that is the last one so six point five yes that is plot so yes look uh, that is first integer array one three six eight and sixty nine i by you the two digit and three point five four point four six point five six point five i yes Two time I give and eight point nine that perfect ascending order. So yes, sir, that is our perfectly goal. So that is a must. Yes, here very simple. I give the selection short technique. You can also use bubble, radix, insertion short, merge quick. But that is first three technique is very you know, other that quick and merge all are that is recursion type. So here we cannot take that is first our goal is to. Function that is template we have to understand. So here uh, we can use two function template that is selection short that is our technique ascending or descending depend on your condition and then swapping of three statement of any data type. So here we can take as integer and float two data type is convert this. Uh, we can pass as integer so all that swap and selection convert integer and we can pass uh, pass as a float data type one dra so that all are converting the float that is class template type t so yes sir uh, i think you have to understand so here i think no required to explanation what is a selection short technique so here ascending or descending yes just you have to change greater than to less than so that is descending so let us check i compile and run so i give only three size and here also you can enter integer one dns size type of message so yes and i give as randomly and that and then again three and that is plot type so 4.5 6.5 and that is yes here 3.5 so look eight four and two in descending order and here six point five four point five and three point five so yes perfectly or that is target we have to achieve so yes all are well so just write this program to your c notebook if you prepare so here we can use as a selection short technique ascending or descending depend upon your if condition so here right less than if greater than so ascending and less than <clears throat> so that is a ascending and greater than so that is a ascending order so we can by default as ascending but that is a like in work uh, that excel sheet that default is a ascending order or any uh, but we have to provide also less than so that is a descending order and then that is our here swap also we can take as a template type and selection also as a template type and index any array float or integer that is a index is always integer so that for loop is not change that integer data type here that our element is swap and that is required to that data type is a template type and you can look here we can all one day array Yes, I give the here one suggestion that is integer. You have to also write as integer one DRS size so we can identify and here we can take as float. So now I can run last time. So here we can change as ascending. So yes, now enter integer array one DRS size. So I give only three and then float that also I give three. 
4.5 and 9.5 and uh, I again use some medium so yes uh, or 3.5 so yes that perfectly so 258 259 and 3.5 4.5 and 9.5 so that is a ascending order we have to see so all are well so i can already save that file so now write this program to your c++ notebook if you prepare very interesting and very simple i take as concept so first iteration that is zero element sent and uh, that next element compared to the rest of all other element that is known as selection shot basic technique first after this video lecture you can attempt the bubble shot insertion shot there is a two possibility you can apply the template as function template to that swap and all that logic so only four loop is change that logic so yes i think i think perfectly and now we can complete this session so i close alter f3 function key that file yes and uh, quit so subscribe my channel or show me the like button press the bell icon to never miss any update thanks for your watching supporting and sharing my video lecture and hari krishna